the round in the kingdom of the divine will. Praying with the servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, in Advent and Christmas. The round of the kingdom in the divine will in Advent and Christmas. Praying with the servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, the little daughter of the divine will. May the kingdom of the divine will come to reign on earth. Special note. This book does not replace the divine office. It is for private use only. Dedicated November 27, 2014. Feast of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, come, fuse me in your thrice holy divine will, now, Lord. Come pray in my praying. May these prayers be prayed on behalf of all people of all time, past, present, and future, from fallen Adam to the last creature created. Lord, may these prayers be placed on the lips of every soul, in their minds and their hearts, for the sole purpose of loving you, Lord, giving you that love with which you love yourself already within the thrice holy trinity. Fiat. Advent and Christmas Round Prayer of the Round in the Kingdom of the Divine Will Thursday, Proper First Reading Volume 27, December 29, 1929 My celestial and charming little baby, calling me close to himself, in the arms of his mamma, told me, My daughter of the divine volition, come to listen to my lessons. In descending from heaven to earth to form the redemption, I was to form the new Eden. I was to restore the first act and the beginning of the creation of man. In my humanity, so Bethlehem was the first Eden. I felt within my little humanity all the strength of our creative power, the ardor of our love with which man was created. I felt the fibers of his innocence, of his sanctity, of his dominion, with which he was invested. I felt within me that happy man. Oh, how I loved him! And since he had lost his place of honor, I took back his place, because it was befitting for me to first place in me the order of how man was created, and then descend into his misfortune in order to lift him up again and place him in safety. Therefore in me there were two continuous acts fused in one. The happy Eden with which I was to place in force all the beauty, the sanctity, the sublimity of the creation of man. He was innocent and holy, and I, surpassing him, was not only innocent and holy, but was the eternal word. And having within me all possible and imaginable power and an immutable will, I was to completely reorder the beginning of the creation of man and lift the fallen man up again. Otherwise, I would not act as God, 
nor would I love him as our work. Come out and create it in an ardor of our love. Responsory I want you always together with me, that you may follow me in all my acts and offer everything, so that my divine will may reign and dominate, because this is what interests your Jesus the most. Second Reading, Volume 27, December 29th, 1929 continued our love would feel stopped and as though impotent that cannot be had i not completely mended the lot of fallen man and the destiny of the way he was created it would have been a slash to our creation and it would have accused us of weakness had we not restored man completely. Therefore, Bethlehem was my first Eden, in which I did and embraced all the acts that innocent Adam did, and those that he would have done had he not fallen. Our divinity expected with justice my requital in his place. And as I kept redoing what innocent Adam would have done, so I lowered myself and stretched out my hand to lift him up again from his fallen state. Therefore, as I would make my round and stop, my humanity did nothing other than form new Edens, because in me there were all the acts of the beginning of the creation of man. And wherever I stopped, I could form new Edens with my innocence and holiness. So Eden was Egypt. Eden was Nazareth. Eden was the desert. Eden was Jerusalem. Eden was Mount Calvary. And these Edens that I formed called the kingdom of my divine will to reign and are sure proofs that just as I fulfilled the kingdom of redemption and it is making its round to be established in the whole world, so will these Edens, in which all acts were done by me, as if man had not fallen, follow the acts of redemption, and shall make their round to establish the kingdom of my divine fiat. You have reached the end of Thursday proper. Fiat.